of Windows Mobile um, <coughs> ROM that's on this on the HTC Pier here. This is your home screen. It shows a uh, current time. It's a dual clock display that's totally customizable if you want just one clock. It also shows the current weather. A uh, little calendar counter tab here where you can scroll down. Like if you, have, if you have multiple appointments, you can actually scroll down and see more appointments. Uh, text messages, email, call history, and voicemail. These are notification uh, buttons here. So if right now if I have a text message, it shows there and here, and I just tap it and it goes right to it. Uh, these are all tabs here that can be customized with different programs. Right now it just has like Facebook, camera, Google Maps, and then something I'll show you a little bit later. Um, you can also add more down here if you'd like, but totally customizable. This is the main home screen. You can swipe over and there's all your your toggles for like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, put the phone on vibrate, airplane airplane mode, all that good stuff. Down here you have this uh, little bar where you can go between your different tabs. You can see that there, so that's your contact tab. You can add different contacts to it, quick contacts. Here's your text messaging. I just put two little quick uh, test messages here just so you can see how it works. So you can scroll through the different messages you have and you hit it and you can respond. Um, email, which I haven't set up on this phone, just kind of a demo, demo, demo here. Here's your web browser. Just tap that, or you can start with the Google, Google search right there and launch right away. This is a little photo browser. You can browse through some of the photos you have on your phone. You can click on it and launch it bigger and zoom in and all that good stuff. Here's a little music application. You can go through and select different songs and uh, make playlists and all that good stuff. So works just fine. Calendar app, obviously for scheduling stuff. Stocks. Twitter tab and also a Facebook tab along with the weather tab. So current weather, four day forecast. Um, this is a call history tab and you have your settings. So pretty straightforward. Um, these are your physical buttons down here to like make a call and start down all that stuff. So works great, very customizable. Um, Facebook, all that good stuff. And then I'll show you how, by hitting this right here, you can actually boot into Android if you want to use Android instead of Windows Mobile. So you just click on the little tab there. Launches a program, and you just hit, and then you hit Android, and it will automatically boot up Android for you. This just shows a little boot screen for launching. It's already set up and ready to go, so there's nothing you have to do. If you want to run Android, you just hit that button I showed you earlier and it, it launches. Okay, so here you can see the initial Android boot screen. This is Android 2.2. Unlock here. I haven't really done anything as far as customization goes. Um, I just wanted to be able to show you guys the different, like the different screens and stuff that are on here. But um, I haven't really done anything yet. There's a just a Google search bar, little tips thing. Um, I just put Gmail, Google Maps, the photo gallery, and the Android Market. Gets full signal, 3G, works great. Wi-Fi works. Um, you can get phone calls, all that good stuff. So, all right. So this button acts as the unlock button right here so you hit that and it brings up the unlock screen this is your call button just like it is in normal Windows Mobile it brings up the calls the call screen here so you can dial out um, this is your this the Windows button becomes your your like menu button to pop up the menu back button works the same and then the end call button will end the call and it will also uh, lock your screen so you can see that there and also to unlock the screen you press the same button but uh, the power button Acts as a normal power button. You just hold it down on, on the top here, and bring the power menu, so I can power it off from there. Okay, shutting down. So again, everything works great. Uh, volume rocker buttons work the same as they would do in Windows Mobile. And uh, from here, you can launch like Gmail. I, get, I don't have it set up on here yet, so I'll just go back. Google Maps, the gallery. If you want to be able to, you know, go through and look at uh, look at some pictures and junk, you can click on it there, and then you can scroll through them. So, anyways, everything works on the Android side of things. Um, so far, it's been really stable. I haven't had any problems. There's a little music application there. So, and it takes and receives calls just fine. I'll call it here just for a test.
Yep. So, receiving the incoming call. Hello. Yep. So it works just fine on both Android and Windows Mobile, which is pretty cool. Um, again, Wi-Fi works, um, 3G. So, if you want to play around with a device that has both Windows Mobile and Android, it's the one to do it with. Thank you.